Hi, you guys. Good this morning. is um, Debbie with Debbie's Crafts, Gifts and Crafts, and this is my gorgeous daughter-in-law, Alex. Hi, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> um, we are here to do a live fabric wreath, and um, we're doing a St. Patrick's Day one because it's March, and St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon. So, do you guys um, like my shirt if you read it? Yeah, her shirt says, I don't need luck, I'm a grandma. <laughs> my grandbaby right in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yep, in a couple months she'll be here. So we are going to be going through, um, first we'll start with all of the items that you need. Okay. And so you need one of these. Um, what is this called? A wire? Is this a wire? Yeah, thing? it's like a... a it's, it's called metal. A reef, I, I usually reef. call it um, like metal form, reform. Yeah. So the tag on it says reef, reef ring. Oh my goodness, that's hard to say. Reef ring. <laughs> um, so you're going to want one of those. And then um, just any St. Patrick's Day, or if you're not doing St. Patrick's Day one, but you'll just need fabric. Um, we are using a bunch of different um, Yeah, green with four leaf clovers and green with polka dots and yellow. Um, all fun St. Patrick's Day colors is what we're using. So I'm cutting, um, I have this yellow. I'm gonna put some of this yellow in it. So I'm gonna cut cut it like this. Um, and you know, and, and it's gonna look like some rags, you know, coming out like fabric strings. And I'm just gonna pull it. And we're gonna, we made a little pile over there. Do you wanna show them the pile of all the strings? Do you want to go ahead and start pulling on those? So you want them to be just like this. Yeah. And so we're going to go ahead and do that, make more of these. So you guys, what am I doing? Um, what you're going to do is you're going to cut. So I cut right here. I folded it and I cut it like this. See? And then I, I just, oh, it's running low. Shoot. Do you have a charger? Push. Yeah, I'll do that. We have, um, Right here, I cut a little bit, if you guys could see, and I'm just going to pull it all the way down like that. I'm going to go put my plug in over here. All right. Okay. So are you ready? So we have a little pile. We're going to put it in, in the middle of us right here with a bunch of different um, long strips, okay? And we're going to, I already got started on Alex's here. You could kind of show them. Um, see how she has a little bit of hanging down? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a strip like this. You're going to fold it in two, so you have one strip, and you're going to fold it in two like this, okay? And then you're going to be holding your reef kind of a, what's what's coming up a little bit. It's like a heel. You're going to face it towards you, and then you're going to put this fabric that I have cut in half, I mean folded in half, I'm going to put it through the first ring, just like this, you guys. And so here I am. <clears throat> And then I'm going to take the end and I'm going to put it through the circle here. And that's how I'm going to tie it on. And it's going to go on like this. Okay? And we're going to go around with all the different colors all the way around. Okay? And um, and then afterwards we're going to we're going to cut it and make it look uniformed, not crazy looking, okay? So I'm going to take another yellow one here. See, look at this. Fold it in two, take this, put it in half, I mean, put it right in the, right through the last metal ring here. Take the loop here, here's my loop. Take this, put the, the, the extra part in through the loop, and then pull it. So I have two of them now, okay? And we're just going to keep on going around like that. Perfect. So you guys, with these... You can kind of see from the angle, um, there's, this is a flat side and then it kind of rounds out in the front. So that's the front side of your wreath. So that's the side that you want facing you. Just want to make sure. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So about, um, do you have a count of about how many they should have or should they make it pretty full or loose? Well, you can, you can make it real tight and that will make it fuller if you push it together like that. It will make it look a little bit fuller, especially when we put these other layers on. But if you want it loose too, that's fine. If you want to 
have it loose and then maybe more fuller on the inside. Um, if you run out, just make sure you have, um, you know, a lot of different fabric available to you. If we run out of this pile, we have a lot we could still cut up and, and work on and, and um, we'll be okay. Um, so I don't have a number of how much. So it's really just up to you guys. It's up to you guys and um, what you want it to look oh, like. Yeah. So yeah. depending on how much, um, just how fabric. full you want your wreath, you just the same as as many um, fabrics as you put on each thing. If you want to squish it to make it more full, or if you want to spread them out, um, same thing. When we move to our next layers here, um, you can do this on every layer or you could do every other one um, and that'll just show um, vary on how full you want your wreath. So it's completely up to you. It's totally customizable to your desire. So, you started on your second one? Yeah, we're starting Perfect. on my, I'm starting sure. on my second one right now. See, look at that. So this is my second one and I'm, um, what I'm going to do now, just so you guys can see, is I'm going to trim some of this, you know, how some of the layers are some long, some short. Well, I'm just going to trim it up a little bit, you guys. Just like that to make it all one length, okay? So when we hang it out on the door, it doesn't look so weird. And this will look better once um, we got all of the fabric on the, the metal form. But... See how I'm, I'm forming it a little bit? Okay, you guys, we're probably going to have to get out. We're going to do about one more minute. But this is how it's looking so far. I'm going to trim it up so there's not these long pieces hanging down. And I'm going to share this video on my page and with the end product. And you guys can see and let me know if you like it or not. But if you have any questions, answer Ask now, because we're going to be going off in about a minute. I am almost done with my second layer, darn it. Show yours. Show yours. This is mine so far. Oh, um, still neat. Obviously, we're going to, it needs to be trimmed up. But um, I have just like one little layer of my second row that I need to do. Um, and then I'll do the third layer and then trim it up. But that's mine so far. Okay. So we're going to continue to work on this. And... Um, like us Just on like, Facebook. Yes, like us on Facebook. What is our Facebook? Um, what is it? I think it's just Debbie's DIY. Debbie's DIY. DIY. Probably Crafts and Gifts, right? Well, yeah. Just write Debbie's DIY Crafts and Gifts, and you'll see me on Facebook. And then follow me on Facebook. And um, Instagram, Instagram. Same thing. Same thing. And then um, you know my website is www.debbie's. Um, gifts.com and you can look at everything I do on there and it has, has pictures and everything um, and then what else oh YouTube okay follow me on um, YouTube videos subscribe to my page that would be great 